Okay, um, Miss Rua, um, this is this is our second lesson um, of Pfumvu Parozeva. So what what we did was just introduce the song and then play the basic part. First phrase. Second phrase. So so this is this is the most basic part and, and what we want is to develop um, different parts uh, of, of this instrument. So when Efat Mujuru was asked and Efat Mujuru is 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 um, he's late um, but he was one great Mbira player. When he was asked um, how this instrument is laid out, the answer that he gave is that this is like a family. Um, it has the voices of the children, of the kids, and these are high voices. And then where we started here, these are the voices of the women, uh, mid-pitched. And then somewhere along the line, we want to include the voices of the men. And so, and so the way we develop the song is that we, on the left side, will play what we've been playing. And then we don't change anything on the left side, but we, we then concentrate on the right side, on these voices um, of the kids, of the, of the young people, um, these high-pitched voices, and then, and then we develop them. So, so we have one part which we used um, as a basic. Where we are playing just these two keys. These are the only two keys we're playing. And these keys are played by this thumb. Um, the thumb also plays the special key, but we haven't introduced it. So what I, what I want to show you is the next step in the development of these uh, voices. Um, so for the first phrase, you go to number four here. So we count one, two, three, four. This is this we ignore it. It's a special key. And for the first phrase, what you do is you play two notes each. So that, that is the first phrase again. And then the second phrase. Again. So the index finger, this, this is the index finger. Um, it plays from below, um, it plays all these keys. But it takes a little training, it's difficult, so if you can't, you can use your thumb, um, but knowing that you're just using it temporarily as you train the index finger. So, first phrase, second phrase. Now, so, so, so I'll, I'll play um, the whole song. So this 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 part is really really important. Um, once 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 you are good, this is this is actually where you start where you start the song. And then and then what I'm showing you is that you can move seamlessly from one negative variation to the other, so you can. Then we've 
learned two styles of playing. Um, the first one that we learned was playing simultaneously, the left and the right. So now coming from number four here, you can incorporate that. So this, this, this is a very important part um, that, that you have to learn. Um, if the index finger is difficult, I've indicated you can use the thumb for the meanwhile. So, so we've developed, we are now playing these four keys. We started out with just one and two, and we've added um, three and four. Now we can keep on going up to include the even younger kids, those with higher voices. So the first phrase um, doesn't change, you do. But for the second phrase, then, then you do, and you go to number six. This is R6, number six on the right, so R6. Again, first phrase, second phrase, so. And then, and then you can go further up, so first phrase doesn't change. And then the second phrase, you start from number eight. Again. So. So, so, so you now have four parts, one where you play the basic netted at one and two, um, a second variation where you start from four going down, a third variation where you get to six and five in the second phrase, and then a last variation where you can get up to eight. And so we are now playing all these keys from number one to number eight, and this, these are the kids, these are the high voices. So this is a happy, happy family where the kids are singing, where the kids are playing, where the kids are crying, and a happy family has children running around all over. This is, this is what we're learning. This side, we haven't done anything, but once you've learned these netetes, then you can incorporate and do variations on the left. So, 
So these netetes that you've learned can be played with whatever variations that you know on the left. Um, but we'll, we'll use the next lesson to develop um, the variations on the left a little more. Um, some on the top here, the voices of the women. And then we need some men to bring in the bass notes uh, and we'll incorporate that. Um, but for the lesson now, we end here. Thank you.